time, no substance, no matter, no shape, no form. Total darkness and floating above it all. God's Holy Spirit, ready for action. Day one, God's voice booms. Lights! Lights flood the skies and night is swept away. God gives it a big thumbs up. Day two, God says, I want a dome. Call it sky. Right there between the waters above and below. Day three, God says too much water. We need something to walk on. Call it land. God smiles. Now we got us some definition. But it's too plain. It needs color. A million shades. The earth grows wild with trees and plants, bushes, flowers. Seeds appear in every one of them. Yes, says God. Day four. Sun for the day. Moon for the night. Seasons, years, and give us stars. Think of a number. Add a trillion, and we're talking huge. Day five. Okay. Animals. A million different types of each. And let's have fun with them. Shapes, colors, textures, sizes. He smiles. Results. Day six. Let's make people like us, but with flesh and blood, skin and bone, caretakers, wardens of all the animals. Their job description, make babies, run the planet well, and enjoy. God looks at everything he's made and says, fantastic. I love it. Day seven, job done. Time to rest and enjoy. Masterpiece. All of God's creation would eventually succumb to the deception of the enemy. Sin, death, and separation from God has entered the world. But God promised to redeem his creation. Thousands of years later, Mary would conceive of the Holy Spirit, the promised Messiah. He would have um, he would endure excruciating pain of the crucifixion, the coldness of the grave. And he, on the third day, he would resurrect from the dead. The same Holy Spirit that hovered over the depths of the eternal past is the same one that will raise Christ Jesus from the grave. The same Holy Spirit that now lives in us today as believers is painting a vision for the church and the surrounding world. All the things I once called this word And I have to say the words I fear the most I just don't know And the questions without answer Come and paralyze the answer so I stand here on the stage, afraid to move, afraid to fall. Oh, but fall I must on this truth that my life has been formed from the dust. God is God and I will not. God is God and I will not. I can only see a part of the picture he's painting. God is God and I Filled with awe and wonder Till the only burning question that remains Is who am I? Can I fall a single mountain? Take the stars in hand and count them Can I even take a breath Without God giving in to me?
Now upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came upon the sepulcher, bringing the spices which they had prepared, and certain other with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulcher, and they entered in, and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass that they were much perplexed thereabout. Behold, two men stood by them in shining garments, and as they were afraid, and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? And as they thus spake, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them, and saith unto them, Peace be with you. But they were terrified and affrighted, and supposed they had seen a spirit. And he said unto them, Why are ye troubled? And why do thoughts arise in your hearts? Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me and see, for a spirit hath not flesh and bones, as ye see me have. And when he had thus spoken, he showed them his hands and his feet. Then opened he their understanding, that they might understand the scriptures, and said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behooved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning in Jerusalem. And ye are witnesses of these things. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem, until ye be endured with power from on high. And he led them out as far as to Bethany, and he lifted up his hands and blessed them. And it came to pass, while he blessed them, he was parted from them, and carried up into heaven, and they worshipped him, and returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and were continually in the temple, praising and blessing God. Amen. For he is the res resurrection and life. 